Here we are. This is Matt with Big Fish Encounters again. I told you I'd bring you the DIY portable live scope bundle. Here we are. The pieces are right in front of you. I even have a perfect example over there. What we have starting up here is a 93 SV Plus unit. Comes with the screen protector, bail mount, and lower mount. After that, we have two 12 volt, 10 amp hour lithium batteries. We're sitting right about five pounds between them two. We have a do it yourself power cord you'll have to make to power everything up. I'll make a vid on that one as well. We have a Garmin large ice kit that is the bag, the base, the handle, an ice deucer and also the adapter to go to a 9 inch screen. I cut a piece of foam right here to lay in the battery tray just to fill the gap, take out any bit of play in the batteries. I also cut another two pieces of foam right here. Now we get to the live scope portion. We have the GLS 10 box. This is the one everybody wants to know where I'm hiding and I'm going to show you. Now we have the live scope uh, transducer. We got a fair amount of cord with that. On the back, you can see I already have the shaft mount for the ice pole. I have that sitting right here. I'll show you how to put that together too. See, this is what the nine inch unit will look like all put together. I'm gonna go ahead and take that one out of here and make a little room. So I can show you how to put your own together. Hold on. Alright, we are going to start with these pieces. The lower base, the plastic handle, two 12 volt, 10 amp hour lithium batteries. I tape them together, turn them into one. You can make them removable. I am making mine so they are part of the unit and held tight. Take my little foam piece. About a quarter inch thick roughly. I'm going to set that in there. Before I drop the battery down, I'm going to plug everything in. We have power on this one. Ground. Power on this one. And ground. Make sure they're all firmly planted. I'm going to stand that up. You can see it just fits in there front to back. I'm going to wrap this around for right now. The handle has two detents. I'm going to drop that handle down. Listen for the two clicks. You heard them. All right, the handle's in there. Shove my screws through. There is my two batteries installed, rock solid. There is no movement there. I got my power cables. I'm just gonna flip them out of the way now. We're gonna turn it around. We're gonna answer the question everybody wants to know. Where am I hiding them cables? Right on top of the battery here. We're going to pull out the live scope box. It's not going to go right there. We're going to get a couple zip ties ready. It's going to go right here though. Alright, as you can see, I got four zip ties securing this to the pole. I put the straight one, that is for the 93SV. I'm going to wrap it through this zip tie. The other one I'm going to leave right on top so it plugs into the power of the live scope. Now I break out the two pieces of foam that I cut. They're just over an inch thick. 
I'm going to slip one on each side of it. Okay, as you can see, I got a little bit of foam behind that battery now. I'm going to go ahead and cinch this down. And that, my friends, is where I hid the live scope battery. As you can see, there is not much room. There is not enough to mount the dock where it's supposed to go. But we need the room anyway, so we're just going to move that dock forward. I got my power wire hooked up while I can get good access to it. I'm going to hook my network cable up first. Here is that. Find the key. There it is. Push it down. Rotate it. Should turn in there no problem. Now I'm going to wrap this nice and tight as close to the bottom of here as I can. Leave just a little bit of slack here so I can unplug it if I need to. Keep wrapping. All right, on this last one, I am going to come through this gap right here. And that should give me just about the same amount of room I need on the other one. There is a network. There is a power. We're going to immediately go to our live scope. This one is much larger, so we got to be careful wrapping it on here. We are going to place this right here. I'm going to find the key. There is the key, and I want a little bit of slack. Now, I'm not going to plug it in yet. There is where I want to start wrapping. We're going to go this way with this one. And we want to keep it nice and tight. Cord untwisted. As you can see, it takes up every bit of space in there. We are going to leave approximately three feet right off the bat. I'll set it out this side here. I'm going to go back to my transducer. I'm going to find that happy spot to plug it back in. Now, as you can see, that is wrapped up very nice, and the cord for the transducer actually holds it in there pretty good. Now we need to put a bail mount on. I'm going to go ahead and release that. Here is the bail mount. Slots forward. Here are our two holes right here. We're only going to use two of them. And there is the lower base for our bail mount. We're going to go ahead and set these right here. We're going to pick up the adapter. The adapter for the ice deucer. I am going to use the ice deucer with my live scope this year. No ifs, ands, or buts. It is incredible and I am still going to rock it. So we'll plug that in. And we'll sneak up here. We're going to do the live scope first. That's the tab at the top. Get that plugged in. Now we'll look at our power cord. We end up doing just one little loop around with our power cord. 
hooking that up. Tighten. Now we're going to angle all of our cords downwards. We're going to tip that right in there. That is about the angle we are going to run right there. Go ahead and tip it down. Here is our ice deucer. We want to be able to install that also. So I'm going to wrap that around once right there. We're going to hook it up. I'm going to go around once on the bottom, twice on the bottom. Get to what I need for space, and then I'm just going to fold it back over on the top side so I can pull it out. There is that. We're going to mount this up here, and it will lay sideways in that hole that it used to. It'll fit better right there. Look at that. We got that fit in there. It's a tight package. But we're getting there. The money shot, we're going to go ahead and click a 9 inch screen into that. It's in there. We'll let her boot up for you. Until then, I'm going to show you the bag. Here's the bag. If you got two hands, it would definitely help. I'm by myself right now. We're going to open the front bag. We're going to open the back. But now, as you can see, she is searching for bottom, wondering where the fish are. We got our GLS 10 box firing away. Let's get this thing in the box. Turn it off. Screen protector. We're come behind it. We're just going to work it in there. It will fit. to zip up the back once I know it's tight. Get the front piece in there. Yeah. Pick a side that you want your cord to come out of. We got it on this side, so we'll zip this zipper. Just walk it around there. Help it out a little bit. If your bag is tight, I recommend zipping it a little bit at a time. You can tip it on end and stretch the fabric. If nothing else, give it a day or two of stretching. You can hang it by the handle with the weight of it. But as you can see, it is one mean ice fishing machine also so pack it up get it out on the ice let me see how you do join garmin pan optics ice fishing group and remember where you seen that diy big fish encounters guide service out of western wisconsin all right you've seen me build it now i want to show you how to use it we are going to unzip the screen. We're going to pull this back. You can either flip, flip it down in. I like to roll it up. There's a little clip right here. That is out of the way. Set this guy in here. Screen off. Power it up. At that same time, here is the shaft mount. 
just like this. This would be live view forward with Garmin parallel to the ice. If you wanted live view down, you would rotate it and you want this middle surface parallel to the ice. That will give you your live view down and live view forward. Got it? Show you how to put that pole together. Here is the lower section. I'm going to slip that right in there. I like to keep mine kind of loose. We'll get some live scope in the background. Now you can see I got the lower pole. I'm going to go directly to this upper pole. This is the one that will go in the base. Thread that one on. Now I have the ice base. I'm going to go ahead and set this right here. I'm going to put the ice base there. And I am looking for the handle. Here is the handle. Thread that all together. Now this handle you can make point wherever you like. I like to have it pointed so that when you look down the handle, it is pointing to the fish. You want to be a little sneaky? Turn it the other direction so when the handle's pointing, the live scope's looking the other way. So that is how you assemble the ice pole to take it apart. It's easiest to start with the handle. There's the handle, there's the base. Now we're going to take the top pole off. You can leave this one attached if you would like to. This is also at a slight angle for the trolling motor. So remember when you are looking in down view that it is at a slight angle. So you will need to fish on the correct side of the hole. We'll go ahead and wrap this back around. And I like to stick it in the side pocket right there. also recommend maybe a soft cooler case possibly. Unclip this. Turn it off. Screen cover back on that big of a screen. Push that far out of the bag. We want the cover on. Bring her down. Help the zipper out a little if you have to. Otherwise, my bag fits really nice. So, 9 inch screen, live scope in the middle, dual 10 amp hour lithium batteries in parallel. Battery testing at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. 100% screen brightness was 11.4 hours. Almost a 12 hour shift at 100% brightness. Bring some sunglasses because you'll need them. At 50% brightness, we are over 14 and a half hours. At that point, you might want to take a nap because this bad boy ain't going to run out of juice. So... You've seen it at Big Fish Encounters. Thanks for your time, everybody. Like, share, comment, join my page. Have a good day and good ice season.